Major homicide inquiry underway as police work through list of suspects after Loafers Lodge fire. Violent ferry building attack stokes crime fears in downtown Auckland. And the wait is over for budget 2023 as the finance minister hints at what to expect. At Maria, I'm Sheree Kinnear and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. Police are looking for suspects in a homicide investigation after the deadly fire that raged through Wellington's Loafers Lodge. Six people have been confirmed dead and others remain unaccounted for. Tuesday morning's blaze is being treated as arson and police are determining whether it was linked to a couch fire two hours beforehand. Police acting Wellington District Commander Dion Bennett says bodies are still inside the building and the death toll could go up. Meanwhile, social workers are wrapping support around the survivors of the inferno. Wellington City Missioner Murray Edbridge says the survivors have been put up in motels and hotels and are being well provided for. There's fresh concerns about safety in downtown Auckland after a group was caught on camera kicking, punching and stomping a person in a busy tourist and commuter area. Footage sent to our newsroom shows six people launching a vicious attack on a person lying on the ground outside the ferry building in front of tourists and Saturday night crowds. City leaders are demanding urgent action with Auckland Business Chamber Chief Executive Simon Bridges describing the incident as barbaric. Police received a report of disorder at the ferry terminal at about 5.30pm Saturday, but the group scampered off before officers arrived. The Finance Minister is getting ready to deliver his sixth budget. At 2pm today, Grant Robertson will unveil the document he and his ministers have been crafting for months. He's giving little away in terms of details, but has provided the House with something of a snapshot of what's to come. Budget 2023 recognises that we need to look after people while at the same time moving back to a more sustainable fiscal position after the emergency spending required to get us through COVID. And you can tune into our live coverage of the budget this afternoon on the Herald website, Facebook and YouTube. Police are hunting a gunman after a teenage girl was shot following a road rage incident and chase across Auckland's motorways on Tuesday evening. Police called the attack on the 15-year-old girl an appalling display of violence and said it was lucky they weren't dealing with a homicide. They've asked for the public's help in finding the vehicle of interest, warning people to be cautious if they see the car. They're looking for a grey 2009 Mazda Accela registration NGL15. And Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are claiming they've been involved in a near catastrophic car chase involving paparazzi photographers. They're claiming the pursuit, which took place in New York, lasted more than two hours and resulted in several near collisions with drivers. But the New York Police Department is painting a different picture. The NYPD says while officers were forced to work under challenging conditions, they deny it was near catastrophic. New York City Mayor Eric Adams says he's skeptical about aspects of the story. I would find it hard to believe that there was a two-hour high-speed chase. That would be I find it hard to believe, but we will find out the exact duration of it. But if it's a 10 minutes, a 10 minute chase is extremely dangerous in New York City. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more stories and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai te ra. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.